Good morning, staff and students. Here are your announcements for Friday, January 28th. I am Sarah. And I'm Haley Marquez. Thanks for joining us. Today's lunch is pizza, salad, fruit, and milk. Juniors and seniors, remember that you must have a parent call or email Mrs. Meek in the guidance office in well in advance of a college visit. There's also a form you need to have signed by a parent or your teacher and your teachers. This form needs to be returned to Mrs. Meek before the day of your scheduled college visit. Reminder to sophomores, the deadline to apply to attend Vanguard next school year is Friday, February 4th. Leave your mark on PCHS. Leadership Council will be offering the opportunity to put your handprint on the wall by the Media Center hallway today and next Friday during lunchtime. The cost is $1 with all proceeds being donated. In sports news, the bowling teams traveled to Fostoria to take on Tiffin Columbian. The boys struggled on tough lane conditions and ultimately lost. They were led by Nash Leland with a 355 series. The Lady Redskins defeated Tiffin and were led by Doris Husky's 319 series. We will both be back in action Tuesday night when, the, when we host Norwalk. Now let's go to Kale, who will reveal this week's mystery seniors. Could you guess the two mystery seniors? They were Chelsea Jensen and Cassius Jackson. We will feature two new mystery seniors next week. Back to you. We have one more sports result to report. It was an exciting night in the pool for PC swimmers. The Lady Redskins kept their hot streak alive, beating Notre Dame Academy. Sophomores Cami Perriott set a new pool record in the 100 backstroke, going in one minute flat. Seniors Gabby Porter and Davy Avis, along with Zoe Barr and Cheyenne Linsky, took second in the 400 free relay to seal the win. The ladies remain undefeated. The boys hosted St. John's, and with the senior melee race, the team of Logan Brown, Carter Blessing, Ryan Zam, and Hunter Betchel, they started off strong with a win by over two seconds. The same went on to finish the first in both the 400 and 200 relays as well. However, they fell just short of the win. The boys host Margareta at home Wednesday. We'll bring today's show to an end with our word of the day. Today's word is intemperate which means having extreme conditions or showing a lack of emotional calmness or control. For example, the journalist apologized for her intemperate rant against the mayor. That concludes today's announcements. Have a great day and a wonderful weekend.